What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with Rotom Mo in Regulation D. Rotom Mo, cool form of Rotom that you don't get to see too often. So for me to actually use this Pokemon, it's gonna be fun considering I love its typing with the grass and the electric. But you guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, what are you doing? This is probably not your first time watching my videos, so definitely consider subscribing. But this team right here was made by Ninja, not the Ninja from Fortnite, but this guy goes by Ninja over on Twitter. He DM'd me. He sent this team to me, and I absolutely cannot wait to use it. So huge shout out to him for making this team and sending it to me. But uh, Rotom is going to be the first Pokemon for today's team preview with Levitate and Citrus Berry as its item. It's got Leaf Storm, Thunderbolt, Will-O-Wisp, and Protect. Love this move set because you got a nice little stab move with Thunderbolt. You got big time stab with Leaf Storm. And then you got Will-O-Wisp for the burn, so... Absolutely amazing, cool Pokemon. We got Iron Bundle in the second slot, and I love using Iron Bundle. It is just top tier when it comes to this meta. It has Cork Drive with the Booster Energy, Rock and Freeze Dry, Hydro Pump, Icy Wind, and Protect. Urshifu is in our third slot, the Water and Fighting Urshifu with Unseen Fist and a Choice Band to make it do a crazy amount of damage. It has Aqua Jet, Surgeon Strikes, Close Combat, and Ice Punch. In our fourth slot, we're rocking out with Iron Hands with Fake Out, Drain Punch, Wild Charge, and Ice Punch with Quirk Drive and the Assault Vest to make it as bulky as possible. Rocking out in our fifth slot is going to be Heat Tramp, but not just any Heat Tramp. This one is a Life Orb Heat Tramp, which you don't get to see that too often. So this Heat Tramp is here to hit like an absolute truck. It's got Flash Cannon, Earth Power, Heat Wave, and Protect. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Zapdos with the Covert Cloak and Ecstatic as its ability. It's got Tailwind for Speed Control, Light Screen to stop special attacking damage on our side. We got Roost for HP recovery and Hurricane for a nice big time stab hitting move. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Rotom Mo Regulation D team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Trick Room team. They got Slow King. They got Glacier, and they're also rocking out with Landorus, Fluttermane, Iron Hands, and Amuga. So they got Fluttermane and Landorus, which could be two Pokemon that can uh, get some work done outside the Trick Room, but the other four are just mainly for Trick Room. So how should we play this? How should we get after it? It seems like they can set up Trick Room pretty easily up against this team. So we're going to be looking for Pokemon that can kind of just counter them, right? I think Rotom Mo could be a solid lead, especially if they want to go into physical attackers like Landers or Glacier as a lead. I could just throw a burn and neglect a lot of their physical damage, so Rotom is going to come in here. I could also go in with Iron Hands. Could go Iron Hands as a lead. He's not a bad lead. I can fake out and get things set up. It can work out pretty well. Hmm. I don't want to see Urshifu's speed. I could end up leading Urshifu. 155, it's on the faster side, but still turn one. If we can get off some big time damage, I would really like it. But I do believe they are going to go into Iron Hands. So maybe I'll just go into Iron Hands of my own. I like that. So we'll go Iron Hands. I will probably go Heatran in the back end, which I like. And then last but not least, we will end up bringing that Choice Band Urge. Considering if Trick Room's still going on their side, we can always Aqua Jet with first turn priority and do a crazy amount of damage with that for a first turn priority move. Because it's like 40 base damage plus stab makes it 60 plus the Choice Band. It is just crazy. It's just crazy damage for him. So it's really, really good. And if Trick Room ends, then we just have a Choice Band Urshfu ready to hit like a truck in the back end. So they're going to end up leading the Landers and the Slow King. I don't mind that. I mean, Trick Room seems pretty free. I think at this point, we could fake out. Hmm. I was going to say, we could fake out the Slow King. But you know what? I think I'm just going to go into a Will-O-Wisp into this slot. And I think I'm just going to... I think I'm just going to Wild Charge the Slow King. I think I'm just gonna wild charge it. It might even terrasalize, but oh, he withdraws. A little withdrawal action there. Who are you going into? Who are you going into? Who's just swapped? I'm gonna go into Iron Hands. That's fine by me. This thing's just gonna U turn out. Wow. A little bit of U turn action. I really want to burn it. Can you please go into a physical attacker? There's no way you bring Slow King in on this side now. That'd be a smart play. That'd be a really smart play. Because now he can fake me out and get off. This trick room, that'd be a beautiful play. Wow. What a play! What a play! I love it. I love it. Will Lewis is gonna land. And that's okay, I guess. I'd rather have it on the Lando. But from here, it kind of reads out what we're doing, right? Wild Charge now flies. Doing about five and a half damage. And we'll go from there. They'll take a little bit of recoil. 
The burn's chipping up. Uh, Iron Hands can fake out. I'm going to go for the burn on that. I think it's just her best bet. So I'll go burn there and... I guess I'll try another wild charge. I mean, right? What do we say like terrestrializes and we hit him with a drain punch? I said we just go for wild charge. If he terrestrializes, he terrestrializes. And there it is. Yeah, should have went for a drain punch. Watch, it's gonna be like steel or something. It's gonna be something that drain punch would rip him through. Let's see. Fairy. Okay. So good thing we didn't go in the drain punch. The fairy type comes out here. And you're gonna fake me out? You are going to fake me out. You end up faking out my Rotom. And I eat up all my berry. We love my berry. So I get a nice big berry. And I'm flinching. Wild Trash is gonna fly through here. Do a little bit of damage, nothing crazy. And we'll go from here. So, wow, no Trick Room. I don't, that's fine, cool. We eat that. So no Trick Room comes out here. Wow, no Trick Room, that's weird. Do I double down into the Slow King now? Try to KO it? Or do I just throw Burns? I think I just throw Burns. I think I just throw Burns and I just get some HP back. Cool with that. I'm looking to just throw Burns with Rotom here. Burn up the squad. If you want to pop Trick Room, you can pop Trick Room. Plus, even doubling down the Slow King, it's so bulky, I don't think we're really KOing it. So it's just full switching into me. Doing about five. And now he's burned. We like that. We love that. We love that. So who's he going to go into? Is he going to go into Lando? Make my Iron Hands minus two, potentially. No, he's just going to go straight into Glacier. So Trick Room's probably coming out this turn. We're going to get off a Drain Punch. Do about 55 damage. And uh, get cooking from there. That's fine. If you want to set up a Trick Room, that's fine. I got my Iron Hands back. Full HP. Um, and then my play here might just be to protect the Rotom. Waste out a few turns. Because you don't have Terra. I think I just protect you and I might hard swap Iron Hand, save it for later. That could go into Glacier here. Well, not Glacier, Heatran. Which I actually really like. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Heatran. If they wanna intimidate me again, that's fine. I just wanna get my Iron Hands back out so we can use Fake Out later and reset its stats because it is minus one on the uh, physical attacking side. So Heatran now comes out here. I'm just gonna protect the Rotom. Slow King's probably going for a psychic into that slot. And we'll see how this one plays. What, what is that? What did that thing just do? What move is that? I don't think I've ever seen that move. It said like it was telling a chillingly bad joke. That was really weird. That was really weird. I saw Crash can come in here. We are gonna block it. So it sets the snow. It sets the lovely little snow. And from here, I'm just gonna let Rotom die out here. I'm gonna try to get off a of burn, but I'm wasting out these tricking turns all day. I'm gonna go for the will us into you. I am just going to protect Heatran this turn, and just see what he wants to do, right? So Heatran going for the protect. Hopefully he's faking out the Heatran, right? That'd be lovely. And now he just fakes out the road time, so that's fine. If you like that, and he goes for a stopping connection. Chill on me, man. Chill on me. So we're playing this one nice and slow. We're playing this one nice and slow. Road time flinches, and how many turns are left in trick? Because we do have a burn on that guy. Because now I'm thinking of just terrestrializing, going grass, and... Getting rid of the Glacier. And then doing as much damage as I can over on the Rotom. But I can Terrasalize and I think Heat Wave will KO. But do I want to trust myself with a 90% accuracy Heat Wave? You know what? Yeah, I trust my Pokemon. I trust them. I trust my Pokemon all day. I trust them all day. So we're going to Terrasalize into the grass with the Heat Train. Such a good first battle. I always love going up against Trick Room teams and then like slowly like wasting out the turns. Because the battle is just so good at that point. So we terrestrialize the Heatran, straight grass. We do have the Heat Wave. Icicle Crash is going to come in here, and I dodge it. Wow, nice read on their part. I'll give it to them. It's a beautiful read, even though it's a pretty obvious read, especially them going to stop and catch them into me the turn before. So we luck out there. We get a dodge attack. Can we land this Heat Wave? It's Life Warped. Get it done, Heatran. I love you. You're my best friend. You're my best friend. So big time damage. We get rid of the Glacier. I think Trick Room is getting ready to end, so... I'm down to just go into my choice band. I wish you could see the amount of turns left when you're picking Pokemon, right? I wish you could. I really wish you could. They should, they should implement that. So I wish I could just like hit a button 
and see how many turns are left. But from here, I'm just gonna go into Urshifu. I think there's like one or two turns. I'm hoping it's one. They're gonna send in Slow King. The Slow King comes out here. And I'm gonna send out the Urshifu. Who I might just end up hard swapping. Force an attack into, depending on the turns. Yeah, it is one. Yeah, I'm just gonna hard swap him. Yeah, I wish I wish I would have done that. But from here, now I can just go into a flash cannon, try to get rid of Slow King, kind of go from there. So we're gonna try to force the wild charge into the slot and just slow play it. Yeah, I really wish I would have brought out Iron Hands. See, this is this is why. This is why I want to know the turns. Heal Pulse comes out here. Gonna heal up him. That's fine. We burned him already, so a lot of his damage is getting neglected, and the wild charge is gonna come into the slot, which is totally fine by me. Jeans does not mind. Flash Cannon's now gonna fly here. Life Orb, Stab, Super Effective, Shikao. Cool. We get rid of Slow King. So now Trick Room is gone, and we have her back in her street. Ready to party. Came to play. And I'm not worried about the Iron Hands with this uh, nice lovely burn. So Rotom from the dead. Getting work done. The burns are just so big, especially on physical attackers. But now they are going to bring out Lando. Lando, a little bit scary, but... We're just gonna fake it out this turn and just start throwing heat waves across the board. Yeah, we, uh, we should be chilling here. They don't have Terra. We just gotta start doing damage onto that uh, Iron Hand so we can't KO my Urshfu. But from here, it's gonna be fake out all day. Actually, instead of fake out, let's just ice punch this thing. Let's just ice punch and heat wave across the board. Battle was canceled. Hey, we take that all day. The opponent didn't want to battle it out. We were going to win it anyway. We are 1 0 to get things started. First match went pretty well. We went up against the Trick Room team. They set up the Trick Room. We played it real slow. Real time threw out some burns. We protected a couple turns. And then in the end, we slow played it and won it. But now we're hopping into our second match. And we're going up against top tier team, right? Landorus, Urshifu, Shen Pao, Fluttermane, Iron Hands, and on top of that, Amoongus. Top tier support, and it annoys me when he puts me to sleep. So who should we lead? How should we play it? I kind of like Iron Bundle. I don't kind of like, I really like Iron Bundle here. So I'm going to end up leading Iron Bundle. What is your terror type? You are straight ice. Um, We could go into an Iron Hands of our own. You do have Protect, don't you? I believe you do. So just in case they want to go into a Fake Out user, we could just uh, Protect. So... I'm going to go Iron Bundle. On top of that, I might just go Zip Zap with the Covert Cloak. And maybe try to just set up a Tailwind. Have my Pokemon out speed. Kind of get after it that way. And then we'll go into Urshifu. And in the final slot. The final slot. Heatran would not be bad. Kind of like a little bit of Heatran action here. Heatran? Yeah. Heatran for show. Oh, show. I like it. I like Heatran here, so let's lock it in, let's lock it down. Heatran's going to be super effective onto the Fluttermane, onto the Moongus, and the Shen Pao. And plus we have Earth Power, which will be super effective onto the uh, Iron Hand. So Heatran's just a great Pokemon with a great typing. I absolutely love it. I love it, especially when it Terra types. Oh yeah, it's a real deal. It is the real deal. But I'm hoping to win this battle, because this is top tier team. We go 2-0, oh, we'll cooking, everything will be beautiful on this lovely Sunday. If you guys are watching this on Sunday, huge shout out to you guys. If you're not watching this on Sunday, huge shout out to you guys. Love all my fans. <laughs> but uh, Fluttermane and Landis is going to come out here for the lead. I know Fake Out's going to come out here. So I get the Iron B. Um, I could set up a Tailwind. I could protect here as well. Um, Intimidate's going to do nothing. We are both special attacking, which I absolutely adore. And from here, I think Lando's either going to protect or Terrasilize, right? Because Ice would just wipe it. I'm just going to protect here. Do I protect? Lando's got to do something. I might just attack you. I'm just going to attack the Fluttermane. And you know what? I am just going to go for a Tailwind here. I'm just going to attack the Fluttermane. Because there's no way Lando stays in here without Terrasilizing, right? He's just going to protect. So we'll take that all day. We shall take that all day. they make a nice nice soft read on him. I'll drop a nice freeze right in the Fluttermane slide. Just chunk up some damage. And we get the freeze. And we get the freeze. We love it. We love it. And you... What? You, what? What? Yo, stop. Stop with that nonsense right there. What is that? Come on, man. Come on, man. Any rocking energy ball to take out my iron bundle? That ain't right. That is just simply not right. That ain't cool. That ain't right. What is up with that? That is so whack. That is absurd. That is so absurd. Yo, stop. Just stop. Oh my lord. Alright, alright. We'll go into you. We will go into Urshifu here. That is some blasphemy right there. Absolute, complete and utter blasphemy. Um, from here, 
I am just going to Terrasilize the Surgeon Strikes. Get off that water damage. And actually, I'm not even going to Terrasilize right here. Because I could see a hard swap, potentially hard swap, from Lando into, like, Amoongus. So I'm going to take you out. And on top of that, I am just going to pop a Hurricane into the Lander slot. Just in case he swaps to Amoongus here. But come on, man. What is up with that turn? I get a freeze. And then Fluttermane says, nah. It's cool. It ends up withdrawing Fluttermane instead. That's wild. That's wild. Into Amoongus. Yeah, that's wild. That's blasphemy. I should have went into Lando. And Lando's just going to thrash last. So smart play on his end. Probably going into the straight flying type. Is that your call? And you're now you're just going to dump on my uh, Earth Suit? Yeah. Cool. Love this game. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love getting ripped in match number two. That's wild. Because this game should be a thousand percent different right now. A thousand percent different if that... If that uh, Flutterman was frozen for one turn. <laughs> Come on, man. So I crit some hits. Luckily, he's not uh, Rocky Helmet. And I definitely should Terrasilize my Earth Shrew. Give me a little confusion here. It'd be beautiful. No, we don't we, we don't get that. We don't get that. Cool, Terra Blast going to say Night into my Earth Shrew. And I got to figure something out. And I'm going to have to figure something out quickly here. Something out quickly. I do have Heatran, which I absolutely love here. So I'm going to go into Heatran. And with the tail, we should be fine. We should be fine. Um, I still have Terra. I do still indeed have Terra, but Heat Wave's gonna be our best friend. And on top of this, we are just gonna go for a Hurricane. We'll double down Lando. T Wave should be able to KO. That is so ugly. I could see some protects to try to waste out some turns. We'll see how they wanna play it. That's so rough, dude. We're getting ripped. <laughs> We're getting ripped. Definitely should terrestrialize my Earth food, but still. Still, weird plays. Weird plays. Could have sworn they would have swapped the uh, Landers instead of the Fluttermane. But sometimes it'd be like that. So they still have Fluttermane. I think Fluttermane probably is choice spec. Reason being why they swapped it. But they're just going to swap Amoongus here. And he's going to go into. You're going to go into Earth food. Can we get a burn on Earth food? Have a little fun with this one. And Hurricane's gonna miss. We love we love when my Hurricanes miss. That could have been so big, because I don't think he was KO. It does KO. Okay, we love you, Heatran. Thanks for the light bulb. And we get the burn. Okay, we're right back in this. We're right back in this with this burn. With the burn, we're right back in this. So from here, we obviously have to terrestrialize my Heatran. Heatran with the terror are gonna be great. I just cannot afford to take certain strikes damage into into that slot, right? Because with the burn, it's just gonna crit up on me and start ripping. We still have a few turns left in Tailwind. So Hurricane, we're gonna we're gonna hope we don't miss two Hurricanes and we can just get rid of Urshifu and get off some big time damage. Because they don't have Terra either, so Flash Cannon's gonna be your best friend. So from here, we are going to go Terra into Flash Cannon. And we are gonna try to just rip a Hurricane into the slot. Cool, 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 cool. So big time chaos. He trained with the life we're coming in the back end big time. Ends up with Strawn Urshifu. We are going for Hurricane in that slot. So I don't mind it. So if I can land this, this is probably KOing. Plus I have Heatran on the other slot. Actually, it's probably not KOing, but I, I really like what we're sitting. We got the Grass territory, so we can't put my Heatran to sleep. And if my thoughts are correct, this Fluttermate is choice spec. Which is kind of scary. You can do it with a crazy amount of damage. But we tear it into Grass. And Hurricane's going to land. Does some big time damage. We love it. And can Heat Wave just land for us? If Heat Wave lands here, I have a feeling, I have a gut feeling Heat Wave's not my friend today. And it's gonna miss. Let's see. Oh no, why? I'm using Flash Cannon. I'm stupid. But that works out perfectly. But we want to waste out the turns. We still have the burn on him. Nice terror type from us. And we go from there. I really thought I was using Heat Wave. But Flash Cannon, yeah, definitely the play. So now, we're here. Tailwind is gone, I believe. I could try to set up another one. But I think just straight up attacking some of your play. We're going to go Heat Wave, which will KO the Moongus. And is Tamlin gone? It is. And we will just go for a Hurricane. We'll see how this one plays out here. Because I really like my typing. I really like my typing. Unless you like my Urshifu and you're rocking Ice Punch, that could be scary. But battle was canceled. We make a little comeback action. We do get a little lucky with the burns, but hey, we'll take it all day. 
final match is here and your boy is 2-0. Grab yourselves a winning record. Looking to go for a perfect record in today's video. Going up against another pretty strong team with Shen Pao, Amoongus, Arcanine, or I should say Suin Arcanine, and then Regilecki, Sylveon, and Grimmsnarl. So I think they are going to lead Grimmsnarl. Set up the screens, all that good stuff. Um, Pokemon that I have to watch out for is going to be uh, Arcanine alongside with Shen Pao. They can just get the first turn priority. Big time damage can come off from that. But, uh... Who am I going to lead? Do I lead the Iron Hands? It'd be a nice little fake out right off the rip. I do kind of like that. I could go in with Urshifu. Or I could go Zapdos and Urshifu. The problem is Terrasilize and if they're going to lead Regilike. A little bit of an issue. We are Water type. Um, mm, mm, mm. What do I want to do? You know, we're going to go Iron Bundle with Urshifu. Iron Bundle Urshfu, we can take speed control with that. I will bring Iron Hands to the back end. And last but not least, actually, not Iron Hands. We want to showcase Rotom. We don't use it too much. We'll go Heatran and Rotom. Mo. Cool. Because Heatran's been a stud in today's video. He's been lighting it up. He's been absolutely lighting it up. Flash cannons, heat waves with the life orb doing big time damage. I actually really, really like this Pokemon with the life orb. Makes it do just enough damage to actually pull off some big time KOs. So I love it. I love it. He's been a stud in today's video. But they're going to end up leading anybody but... Okay, cool. I was going to say anybody but Regilecki would be pretty pretty neat. And Sylveon and Grimmy Grim come out here. So from here, I'm thinking of just water terroring and just looking to rip through damage. Right? Maybe, maybe double down to Sylveon here. I'm going to double down to Sylveon. Not dealing with it. So I know he could potentially set up the Reflect. He could set up the Light Stream. But... If he sets up the reflect, I'm critting, it hits right through it, so it's beautiful. So the water terror is gonna come out here. We get the stab boost, we get the terror boost, we get the choice band boost on top of that, and then the critical hits from the surgeon strikes. We love it, we love it, we love it. Only if we were next to Shen Pao, but still this should do a ridiculous amount of damage. We just start slapping into the Sylveon. So we end up just faking out the iron bundle, which is kind of wild. I would have faked out the Urshfu all day. Surgeon Strikes gonna come in hot here. Let's see how much damage we're doing. Oh, we're KOing all day. We ain't playing around. I told you, we're not playing around with Urshfu. <laughs> with the choice, man. Come on, man. Love it. Plus, we got the Iron Bundle. I can slow down with Icy Winds. I can really get cooking. This Pokemon's just way too strong. Like, well, who thought it was a good idea? With the, an, an insane ability, especially for doubles. Hey, you can hit through Protects. What? <laughs> That's the whole point of Protect. To Protect. So now he ends up going into Reggie, and you know what? I'm just going to Icy Win it, and guess what I'm going to do? Going to Surgeon Strikes right across it. He probably can actually still outspeed me, which is actually really scary. It's actually terrifying. Icy Win's going to cook. Reggie like he is that fast. He probably still outspeeds me, which is going to be so ugly. Right? You're outspeeding me? Yeah. It's so ugly. It's so ugly. Things just ridiculously fast, but down goes my Urshu. We pick up a big time KO, and I like it where I like where we're sitting. He's minus one. I can now bring out Heatran, right? Do I bring out Heatran or do I bring out Mo? I think we saved the Mo for the back end, but I'm gonna bring out Heatran again. He's been absolute stud muffin in today's video, so I'm gonna bring out Heatran because what I can do here is Icy Wind, slow down the Regilecki. He probably still outspeeds me at that point. Do I just free? Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna. He's gonna sucker punch me. Can I eat up that Sucker Punch? Maybe, maybe not, but you know what? I'll go for the Icy Wind. Actually, I'm going to look to just KO it. I'm going to look to just KO it. I'm just going to Heat Wave across the board, because Heat Wave should be able to KO the Regilecki and do damage on the other side. So let's see what he does, because he could set up a, a Light Stream. He ends up withdrawing the Regilecki. Okay. I'm ripping into a Hydro Pump here, which would be sick if you go into, like, Arcanine. No, Amoongus, of course. Should have went for the Ice Wind. So he's parting shots into me. That's fine. I got Heat Wave cooking here as well. So he swaps. He parting shots at the same time. He's going to be forced to bring back out Regilecki. Just into the other slot. And that's totally fine because now Regilecki doesn't get off a turn. If I was him, I really would have just sucker punched it in there, right? Should have been the play. But now I get off a Hydro Pump. It's landing. It's doing about five. And Heat Wave should be able to kill Regilecki. Maybe double kill here. Yeah. Yo, he trains a stud. This, this boy killing it. This boy killing it. That's going to be game. Well, 3 0 perfect record for you guys. I'm not playing around today. Not playing around. 
They don't really get to use Mo too much, but hey, this team focuses around them, so it's pretty cool. We got to bring him out in match number one. But he trying just kind of took over today. Love it. Grimstone's gonna come back out here. I am just gonna go into a Hydro Pump, and on top of that, a nice little Flash Cannon. And chances are our opponent cancels the battle, right? 3 0 perfect, perfect record. It's a good day. It's a good day. It's a nice, lovely Sunday. There it is. The battle was canceled. 3 0. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. An amazing video for you guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. We only really got to use Rotom Mo in match number one, but still, this team all around was absolutely amazing. Huge shout out to my boy Heatran right here. Heatran was killing it, like I said, throughout the video. He was an absolute stud. Lighting up in match number one, match number two, and even in match number three. Just doing some big time damage all around. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, Click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.